Hey guys, it's Owen here with another quick Adobe tutorial. Um, this time I'm going to be showing you a quick tip with Photoshop. Um, and um, I had a shout out here, this is why we're doing Photoshop, um, from Srikant who said, yeah, I want to learn Photoshop CC. I've been searching for best tutorial channels. Yours looks good to me. I hope you will help me learn Photoshop through it. Have a great day. Thank you, Srikant, for um, your input, and hopefully this tutorial will help you use Photoshop a little better. Um, so for those of you who like to take pictures, uh, you take a lot of pictures, um, sometimes you'll get a picture that is super great, but it's a slightly blurry. This was a picture of two little kids that um, I currently live with. Um, I stay with their family, um, Tristan and Rennick, and it was so adorable. They're a little more grown up now, and we had to save this picture. Um, so what I did was I used a little bit of my Photoshop uh, skills and uh, went ahead, did some edits, and we turned into something that was much more Facebook social media friendly. Um, you can't tell as much that it is out of focus, um, and before you definitely can, you notice that. Also, um, the background's darkened out a little bit, and I also brought some more detail back into their clothes. Um, so it looks much nicer. Let's go ahead and see how to do this. Okay, so first off we're going to open the image. Uh, this is a CR2 file. And CR2 files, that basically means you shot uh, with a camera setting set to RAW. If you're shooting um, at a wedding or whatever, you probably, if your camera has the option, it's better to shoot in RAW because it gives you way more detail to work with in post-production. Um, so whenever you shoot in RAW, instead of opening it straight into Photoshop like a JPEG, um, because it's a CR2 file, it's going to open in this window, uh, which is the camera RAW function. Um, in here, you're able to make a few adjustments to your image, which can help bring out some of the detail that you lost when you actually shot the picture. Um, so for this, I'm actually just going to bump the exposure up a little bit, so we get a little more detail in the clothing and, and uh, some of the background. Not too much, and then I'm going to chuck the whites all the way down, um, because we're not worried about um, the other areas of the image, we're only really worried about uh, this area here around the faces. Um, let's also bump up the clarity just a little bit, maybe about nine, and open the image. The, cl the clarity basically um, gives a little more detail, uh, sort of uh, sharpens the image a little bit. Um, so let's go ahead and zoom in here on Tristan's face, and as you can see, it is fairly blurred out, um, but already you can see that um, bumping up the clarity just in that camera raw uh, function has already helped out a little bit. So let's go ahead and duplicate this layer. So this is the background layer, so that's essentially the picture that we are working with. I'm going to duplicate this layer, and we will call the next layer Tristan's face, um, because this is Tristan's face right here, and it's what we're going to be working with. So I'm going to go ahead and get the lasso tool, and the lasso tool you just click and hold in, and I'm just essentially going to draw around the area of the picture that we want to be sharper. Um, I'm going to hold Alt and delete a little bit of this. here because we don't want to sharpen up there and um, so essentially this is the area that we're going to sharpen actually I'm going to just take out a bit of his forehead okay so this is the area of the face that we are going to be working with um, I'm going to go ahead here click filter go down to sharpen and we're going to use the smart sharpen this is a very helpful tool that Photoshop gives us and um, with this tool, we can bring out a lot of detail in the image. So I'm going to just go ahead and click this. It's going to give you a preview here. And you can zoom in on the preview and move around. Um, I'm going to put it on this left eye here because this is essentially the part of the image that everyone, everyone's focus is drawn to. Um, as you see, everything is set to zero here at the moment. 
Um, and if you chuck the radius up really high and the amount up, you're going to get some crazy results. Um, but we're not going to do that. Uh, there's also three types of blur on this image. Let me just explain the three types real quick. Gaussian blur is the kind that we are actually in this photo going to be using. But Gaussian is for focus problems. Um, if you have a picture that just has focus problems, you didn't have the right focus, then this is what you need. Um, lens blur, uh, if you had problems uh, with softness or diffraction due to the camera lens, then this is what you're going to use for um, editing your picture. Um, and the final one is motion blur. And motion blur is really good for um, if you took a picture, let's say you're at a sports game, and um, the kid is running really fast, and so there's a lot of blurriness um, because of the movement of the subject, then that's what you would use um, for them. Uh, we're going to use Gaussian blur because the focus was our fault as the camera operator, and we just didn't focus on what we should have been. I'm going to then turn up the amount, and let's, I think I did this earlier, um, use about 350, and then reduce the noise. Let's reduce the noise about 30%. And the radius, this is where the magic happens. So you can see it's not that great when you bump it up really high, but you still want some detail. So I'm thinking we're probably going to be okay with maybe a 1.6. Yeah, 1.6 looks pretty good. Um, and, I, and then I'm going to click OK. So that has gone ahead and sharpened up our image a little bit. So I'm going to hit Control Z. And you can see that that was the before. This is the after. So definitely getting some good results on the eye there. It looks a little crazy when you zoom in this much. But when you see it zoomed out, when you look at the picture, um, it's probably going to be about this, this size. Maybe, maybe zoomed in a little more, something like this. You can see uh, already that the focus is looking a lot better there. Um, so the next step is we want to feather this because you're going to see a really sharp image and then on the other side, the blurry image. So the way we're going to do this is we're going to take what we've selected here and the rest of the image and we're going to feather the two together. So let's go to select, down to modify, and hit feather. Generally you want to feather somewhere between 3 to 5 pixel. The larger the image is, uh, the more you could probably feather. Uh, but if it's a very small area then you definitely want to be like 1, 2, um, maybe 3 if you, if you really have to. We're going to just go ahead and leave it with 5, and then select, deselect. And you can see we can't really tell where the line is. It look, definitely looks a little bit sharper. Um, one more step for this is we are going to go to our Sharpen tool. And with our Sharpen tool selected, we're going to zoom in here to his eye. And we're actually just going to use this a couple times. I'm just going to highlight his eye and then highlight it again. If I hit control Z you can see what I did. So we really brought some detail into that eye and that's really actually going to help our image. And now I'm going to zoom back out you can see that that eye looks a lot sharper than this eye. So let's go ahead and hold the spacebar in, zoom back in, get the sharpen tool, and we're going to go over this a couple times. That's once, that's twice, and maybe Just brought in some detail. Now when you zoom out, even from this uh, distance, you can tell that it's already a lot better. 
I'm not going to work on Renix face right now because you, it's essentially the same thing. But what I am going to do is zoom out and go ahead to the burn tool. The burn tool will be able to darken the outsides of the image and leave us with a much nicer focus. Okay, that's already looking a lot better. Let me go ahead and just fix Rennie's face real quick and we'll see what the final results look like. Okay, there's the final picture. Um, definitely a big improvement from what we started with. Hopefully this helps you. Um, if you have any questions on how the layers work or um, how you know to fix the mask or, or anything, um, just shoot me a comment in the video and I'll be happy to explain that. But anyway, this is a really quick way to do this. I just wanna show you one other quick method. So I'm just going to go file, open, and we're going to open the original open image and this is a quick way just to do a similar effect if you have a lot of images that are blurry and you don't have the time to individually work on one um, just a quick uh, fix so here's the image I'm going to go ahead duplicate the layer hit OK so on the background copy we're going to go to filter other and go to high pass on high pass, um, you can change this radius, um, and basically we're going to set this to about six. Hit OK, and then we're just going to click on this um, background copy that we've applied the high pass to, and we're going to change the blending mode. If we put it to, let's say, overlay, you can already see the difference that that's making. it is definitely bringing some more detail back into that image. Um, and uh, the only problem with this is that it basically does detail to everything. You may want to select your area on the subject's face that you want in focus, then go to filter and high pass, and then change the blending mode. The blending mode um, overlay works pretty well. If you want it soft light, it may change it just a little bit. If you want it more detailed, you can hit hard light. Um, but you can really see that that's bringing out really good detail really quick. You don't have to adjust any options too much. Um, this is uh, really uh, just a quick way to do it with all your images. But um, if you want to be a little more detailed, you can go with the first option. And that wraps up my Adobe tutorial. If you like this, give me a like, a thumbs up, and uh, subscribe. Um, and sh share the video with your friends who are photographers who are, are curious on how to fix a blurry image. Um, hopefully this helps. Thanks. See ya.